Hello, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. We're going to keep randoming until we get 1001% and then we're going to start a streak. Who do we have today? It's Eve, obviously, in the last episode. The lost, we lost. So our win streak is currently on minus two. We did lose twice on the last episode, so oh, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously, though. Look at this guy. What the hell? Dead bird, deal with it. Don't make me. There we go. So if this item room would contain Crown of Light, that would be splendid. It didn't. <laughs> Five bombs though, good start. Scatter bombs notoriously winds me up <laughs> because I forget about the scattery part and I put a bomb down. Oh shit. Well, we got what we wanted. We put a bomb down and then there's more bombs and you walk into the more bombs and you hurt yourself. So, if that happens. A pill, we'll take it. I can see forever. Can see Pretty forever. good pill for saying that I just randomly took a pill. Now we are in Horror Babylon state, it means we have 1 HP. Eve of course starts with 2 HP. Taking some pretty silly damage to begin with. Kinda don't want to use that. Uh, I think we just go. Try and beat the boss. We want to stay in the Horror Babylon state if we can, which means Spirit Hearts are that much more important to Eve than they are to most of the... Um, most of the characters. Apart from maybe Judas, because Judas of course starts with a single HP so without the spirit hearts to back you up on that you're basically dead and it's very difficult to get on with Judas without picking up more HP which that is I don't know what to do about that I don't really want it we don't need to be in the horror Babylon state ah, of course we could um, definitely check for both secret rooms that seems like a good idea kind of hoping that they would jump a little bit sooner than they did Look, we found the other secret room as well. And those keys would like to open that. It could contain a head item, but Guppy's head would be splendid. Don't mind that. Or um, Cricket's head. Or Steven. Anything but Bob's rotten head. But, uh, Bob's brain, indeed. Three coins means there's no point using the Hermit card to get to the shop. Except maybe to get out of the cursed room, but I think going into the cursed room at this stage may be a fool's gambit. Speak blessedly, he will inevitably give us even more fucking HP. And then we'll accept our fate as being a very high high ranking, high HP Eve run, and then we'll never get to the Horror Babylon ever again, and everything will be shit forever. I think I'll take this HP with the um luck upgrade. It's not placenta, which gives you uh, re regeneration, which is what I thought it was when I first saw it, so that was a bit silly, but I think it's probably a little bit better to have the HP available in case we're in a bad situation and try to deal without the high damage that we need to start with. I mean, I think we're basically on starting Maggie damage here, so it's not like, it's not that bad. We've dealt with it before. I hate these, though. I'm trying to get around all these rocks to hit the fucking things. There we go. And a key does help, because we will starting to think maybe we wouldn't be able to get into the item room. Well, we weren't starting to think that, but we would have been thinking that as we got on in this floor without a key. But that's uh, resolved itself very quickly, which is nice. We didn't come down with the key, which is often, often a bad idea. I don't think we could have come down with the key, though, so, you know. Wouldn't mind any tinted rock. Small rock. Golden chest, maybe. I, I kind of don't care. Just stop not giving me any opportunities to improve myself. Of course, with Eve, often you want to be spending your HP on deals with the devil to maintain the horror Babylon to get a good bolstering from the fact that the deal with the devil usually contains excellent items. But we want Godhead, which means we're going to have to forego deals with the devil until we find Godhead. Now, I'm not sure about Crown of Light. I know it can show up in item rooms, but I don't know if it's an angel room as well. So, maybe we keep going until we find Crown of Light. Or maybe we find Crown of Light first. There's, that's always the opportunity. In an angel room. Whilst we're looking for Godhead, Crown of Light could just randomly show up in an angel room. So, don't despair yet. Oh, batteries for this. Item room. Yeah. Can we shoot that? Yes. <laughs> it's very dangerous. But... <gasps> what did I tell you? There's Steven, though. That's basically what I asked for on the previous floor. 
So now we don't really need to worry too much about Horror Babylon. We do want to consider it, but ooh, it's not um, it's not going to be the end of the world if we can't get it. Just, just be more careful. Avoid the spikes. Go to the item room. Pick up the da -da -da -da, Ouija board. Eh, it's not bad. It's not great. Um, I quite like Ouija board. Many people don't. I like Spectral Tears though. I'm gonna go this way because I can at least get into the other room if I go this way. But, I mean, this seems like a good idea to start with. Steven is a really good damage upgrade. It's not quite as good as the Horror of Babylon, I think. I think it's just straight up plus one damage. I have an itchy ear roll, so I'm gonna stop shooting for a minute. Um, but also, could have blown that up for me, couldn't you? I mean, we still want to get into Horror Babylon, but we don't have such an opportunity to do so because obviously we're not taking deals with the devil. Which is our main way of... Oh, shit. How do we do this? Is this far enough away? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> it's scary. Our main way of improving ourselves and, on stay and of staying in the Horror Babylon state as Eve is to take deals with the devil, and we can't. I mean, we can. Okay, I mean, if it's something amazing like Brimstone, I'm probably just going to hope for Crown of Light later on and try and get, you know, one win under my belt and call it done. I mean, he is not an easy character to win as anyway. He's not a possible character to win as, but you understand my gist here is that Eve is one of the weaker, in terms of damage, uh, starting characters. Plus has this meta where you need to stay in the Horror Babylon state in order to maintain damage and doesn't have that much HP either and she doesn't really have anything going for her at the start of the game. So you need to be able to improve yourself if possible and of course winning as Eve you take a win when you can get it. So you look how long it's taken us to beat Monstro. We beat Monstro almost as fast as this as the Lost. Although we did scum that up so we didn't miss ever but even so. No more HP please Monstro. Yeah, a look upgrade with some spirit hearts is nice. Or one spirit heart. Do we want this? Kinda. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what we're here for. Move on. Don't be tempted. I mean, I wanted to sell both of my HPs in order to get into the Horror Babylon state and stay there and get the packs, which is a decent damage upgrade, but we have got Steven. And Steven will be able to get us through sometime, and we can always get into the Horror Babylon state ourselves by using the, um, the razor blade here. I'm not sure whether it counts as red heart damage in terms of the deal with the devil. Or angel, in terms of the room opening. We want it to not count in order that we have the best chance of getting into that room at the end of the floor. Can, can you stop moving in such a way that I am incapable of tracking you? Which is, you're just moving. I, I don't want to imply that your movements were in any way anathemic to me being able to, to track you, it's just that I seem to be just capable of tracking today. Tum -tum -tum. This one can die. As long as we dodge don't get hit too much, we should be fine. Because I'm thinking if we take red heart damage without using the razor blade, we're already in a bad spot. Because we will have lost the spirit heart at that point, inevitably. Ah, this is probably a better way of doing it. We will use the blood bag. And the Cancer Trinket as well. Game, you're too good to me. So the Cancer Trinket is basically a double fire rate. It reduces your tier delay. I think it's double. It's, it's much higher anyway. I'm, I'm not taking marks because it's shit. And at the same time, we have a, a Blood Bank, which allowed us to spend some HP without compromising our deal with the Angel, which I'm hoping. And now we have a decent amount of damage. Look at this. It's already obviously better. I will take this HP. I'll blow this joker up. Now they say that that gives you a better deal with the devil chance, and I don't understand. I, I haven't looked up whether what that means is either it increases your chance of getting the door, or whether it increases the chance of that door being a deal with the devil if you don't have devil precedent. 
I'm hoping it is not the latter, because we do want a door and we do want it to be Angel and we do want it to have Godhead inside it. We do want to be able to get on with our lives and stop chasing a thousand and one percent because unfortunately that particular accolade is just super epic mega, epic mega nerd rather than anything amazing like, you know, you're a genius, well done. Still, that's why we're here. Recording these interminable episodes of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. In order to prove that I am at least as good at this game as some other people who play it on YouTube. I know there are many people who play it who are not on YouTube because how can I come 500th in the daily run if there are not at least 500 people playing the daily run. So this should get us both of these. Oh, flight. Very good. Guppy's head. Pretty nice. We will keep Guppy's head. Now what I'm wondering is, because we now have this eternal heart, that's, a, that's an HP upgrade, straight up, on the next floor. Do we want it? Probably won't take the uh, deck of cards there. It's not a starter deck, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not a starter deck. Um, we could get rid of it. We could give it to the blood bank, and that will take away our eternal heart, we won't get an HP upgrade on the next floor. Or do we hope to maybe get an actual arcade on the next floor, which will be an even numbered floor and therefore, you know, eligible, and sell the resulting HP red heart to the blood bank rather than avoid getting it in the first place. This, just stop, you know? So you're a bit of a one trick pony here, Spain, and I have beaten you, and I have... That's it. We win. I am champion of you, the stain. Please don't show up again. A double key room. Do we re-roll if we get the opportunity? We don't get the opportunity. These are all red chests, and I just had to check that I don't have the left hand, because I got a little bit worried. We don't. Ah, uh, leave me alone. Good. Retrovision. Friends to the end. Friends to the end is fine. Uh, we'll keep the Hermit card, we can get out of the Curse Room. We can do Curse Rooms for free now, because we can fly. So we've lost the damage from Horror Babylon, but we do have Guppy's Head giving us three flies on every room. We still have the Steven upgrade, and we've got a Jesus Juice to go on top of it. And we can fly, which makes our maneuverability so much better. I mean, we can just beat this guy without even worrying about it. So, in many ways, the upgrades that we got on the previous floor more than make up for the fact we no longer have the Horror of Babylon going for us. We could even try those mushrooms for magic mush because I suspect scatter bombs gives us the opportunity to maybe break more than we normally would. A couple of keys. It's actually pretty good. We spent a couple of keys already. Uh, maybe scatter bombs is not that great. Yeah, nothing in those. Worth a try. We do have a lot of bombs. And if we can get magic mush, we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. I'm going to take the HP. The reason I'm going to take the HP is that, apart from a very outside set of circumstances, one HP is as bad as six HP. We're going to sell it all to the blood bank or not be able to sell any of it, and the only circumstance in which it's a problem is if the blood bank pays out before we finish selling our HP. Oh, good shot. Well, it was a random shot. I'm not going to give you the credit for that. It was a lucky shot. Here is our curse room, and of course we'll get to the shop by using the cards. So that's a best of both worlds. Where's all my spirit hearts? Okay, fine. Shop is over here. It's greed, so we can't actually buy anything anyway, which I guess is okay. I mean, now is the time when I would have liked to buy something because we had enough money when we got to this floor in order to spawn an arcade. Had we bought something on the previous floor, we wouldn't have been spawning an arcade on this floor. We wouldn't even have the chance to, because you need five cents when you enter a floor for it to spawn an arcade. And it has to be an even numbered floor. Uh, I'm not seeing this arcade, by the way. I don't know whether it's like guaranteed to spawn within end tiles of the entrance or something, but it hasn't, so maybe there isn't one. Do we want to explore? See if we can still find one. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, haven't played Fallout in quite some time. Ed went away, so we stopped recording it. When we came back, we had the uh, expansion. 
this is shit. So... And we sort of didn't get back into it. I don't want to play it in case we continue recording it, and at the same time, I don't want to never play it just because I'm waiting to record it. Honestly, it's not the most popular of series. People actually prefer this one and Darkest Dungeon, but I still like to have the opportunity to give people the variety. We might as well take this. We found everything we want, and I cannot be bothered looking for an arcade. We're doing more than enough damage at this stage, especially with the Cancer Trinket. The only thing I can beat the Cancer Trinket with would be the Curved Horn. And I do think Curved Horn is genuinely better than Cancer Trinket. Because I would rather have the damage upgrade than the tears upgrade. Ultimately, it's the DPS upgrade, whichever way you spin it. Sometimes I would rather have a tears upgrade, but this is not one of those situations. I mean, you don't take Eve's Mascara under any circumstances, basically, because damage upgrade does not... It's, it's literally compensate for in terms of DPS by the damage downgrade, but... What did this do to us? Wow, that really reduced everything that was good about us. Uh, okay. This is a problem. Telepills. Yellow. Now we're kind of in the situation where we have to get Horror Babylon back. I took experimental treatment because it can contribute towards stun. But unfortunately... Um, it... It's shat on us. I don't want retrovision. Well, I guess we'll go down to the depths one. Not in time for boss rush, unfortunately. I dithered a little bit. Going kind of slowly. Maybe we can find some way of getting ourselves down into the Horror Babylon state on this floor without selling anything to deal with the devil. But look at how much damage we are no longer doing. This is not just shit damage, but it's also a shit rate of fire. This is our rate of fire with the cancer drink. <laughs> This is like triple shot rate of fire, but we're only shooting one. I I have nothing to say. <laughs> this is just shit. Oh god, what have we done? Bring on the reroll. Range up. Wow. So happy. We have nine bombs, use them. Nine freaking sc scatter bombs as well. Please do some damage. Goodness me. Half of our shots aren't even landing because of that fly. Great. I was hoping that. I was expecting that thing to shoot me, which means stand still, and then this thing shot me, which means move. What are you supposed to do? You can't win. What is this, though? It's going to take like 20 years to kill this thing because it's got a billion HP. There we go. Oh, what do we do? Algiers. <laughs> what? I don't know what to do with algiers. We kind of need to get that spirit heart back because we don't want to be fighting the boss or even trying to get to the boss without the protection from it. It's not like we're in one of those situations where we don't need to worry about it, where you know you have so much damage that you just beat the shit out of everything anyway. That was a probably decent bomb because it basically fired twice. We're doing so little damage we can't hit a dip in one one shot. Uh, I keep missing them. Come on now. I'm used to the damage that we had. <laughs> so I'm firing. Like, half as many shots as I need to. Our DPS is ah, so shot that I can't stop talking about it. I don't want to be here. Leave. Leave me alone. How many shots do these things take? I mean, these things have a reasonably large amount of HP. They still show up on the Isaac fight, after all. And it can be difficult then. Oh, God. Any damage upgrade at this stage would be amazing. Anything that undoes that experimental treatment would be brilliant. Maybe a reroll? So I don't have it anymore? Oh, God. I wonder if the experimental treatment is permanent, though. Took, we could took red heart damage, so to hell with the deal with the devil, I suppose. Um... Experimental treatment shuffles your stats. So, do you think it's literally permanent? How are we going to deal with this room, though? You blow up you. Bang. You're dead. Bang, bang. You're dead. 50 bullets in your head. Oh, it works. 
Oh, uh, we'll use that twice. It gives us some DPS with flies. Oh my god, the flies didn't even kill the ghosts. <laughs> Every shot counts. This is one of those situations where you've got the DP you've got the shot rate, you've got the tier rate that you would expect if you picked up something like Use Mascara. You don't have any damage, which you would expect if you had to use mascara. We've lost all of the things that could have ever made this run any good. Just from one experimental treatment, which is why you don't pick up experimental treatment, but it's got the spun thing going for it, which could really make a big difference. If it works out for you. We'll take the black heart. Well, we can forget about boss rush, but I wasn't really thinking in those terms anyway. No secret room there for some reason. Should have just come into this room and it would have been obvious. At least we can still fly. Let's focus on the positives. We've still got flight. We have Guppy's head, which is one of three Guppy items, which will turn us into Guppy if we've got the other two. Gives us a great amount of maneuverability and some basically guaranteed damage at the start of a room, provided that they don't smash themselves on the front of those armoured knight things. But We can kill enemies. We have maneuverability and a decent amount of speed. And obviously, speed is not the stat you want to be falling back on to go, yeah, yeah aren't we great we've got some speed going on when your damage is making it actually difficult to beat the fucking hollow. I mean even this room is now quite scary. We can hang out over the pit and they'll just shoot at us. These things have such a massive amount of HP in the first place though. And then they divide into two. This is just asshole -ish. If we get something like Epic Fetus, I am taking it, and there's no way you can stop me. I can't replace the Cancer Trinket, because this is our rate of fire, augmented. What would it be like if we got rid of the Cancer Trinket? It's trash. Hot-ass trash. Here's our shot. That could be good. We do have 30 cents. That's two items if we can find it. Yeah, just end this fucking room for me. It's actually uh, quite useful. Boy, am I glad that we didn't take, um, take the Strange Tractor. Can you imagine these shots pulling the enemies towards them? And therefore towards me? I'd have no chance. Not only could I be doing no damage, but I wouldn't be able to hit the enemies in the first place and they'd be constantly aimed at me. Dead bird, do some fucking damage for once. Thank you. Just kill it. Just end. End this infernal torture. Oh, uh, maybe we have to take blue candle right now. We kind of do. It's unfortunate because the damage from Guppy's head is not insignificant, but the damage from Blue Candle is more not insignificant. Where's our goddamn item room, though? Oh, this is not a. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's not an item room, it's not a place the item room could be, apparently, so I guess we'll go through this big room. Not too thrilled to be fighting the boss in this situation. We do, I was going to say, do we not have an item room? But I can, I can see it now that I get the opportunity to look. I think that was a good use of the candle there. We want to kind of kite these things through it if we can. Are we even not doing enough DPS that we can kill these things before they get back up again? Oh, I missed. What is even that? Come on. Okay, we can just about. No, though. The spider. The spider is not helping. Move this. But we've taken red heart damage already. It doesn't really matter that we took more against that spider. Oh, hello. What are you doing down here? How long have you been here? What I killed you yesterday. No, uh, you didn't kill me. Can you please use a different reference to Flight of the Concords in future? We're getting a little bit bored of that one. Take the lard. It slows us down, but it gives us more HP. Which we're going to need in order to get through this. This is... Probably one of the worst. Um, oh, I knew fucking. I knew Brownie was coming. It's been one of the worst uh, experimental treatment runs I have had the misfortune of getting. I mean, you expect bad miss, bad experimental treatments, but you don't expect it to completely eradicate all the good things that you ever got in the run, right? It's not just removed all the good stuff we got in the run. It's negated <laughs> the original starting stats that we got. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we are now worse than we were when we started. Even though we picked up two damage upgrades. Two? 
Yeah, two damage upgrades. A speed upgrade. The cancer trinket. Fuck. That's it. Oh, damage upgrade. I mean, we have to take it. Our <laughs> damage is now marginally better. Let's see what our rate of fire is without pe without the uh, cancer trinket. Wait, what? That's the same. That's barely any better, is it? Well, the petrified poop doesn't really help us, so whatever. Let's move on and see if we can not die. Allow me to take some water. Oh, heck. I'm terrified. At least that room's easy. Flight is the one advantage that we really do have. There's no way we can rely on Horror Babylon for this run at all. We haven't deserved to deal with the devil for ages. And honestly, I think at this stage, if one shows up, we're going to have to take it. I mean, even if we'd taken the mark in the first one, I don't think we'd be any better off. Eve's fucking bird foot. It's your own foot. I'm not going to go into the curse room, but we might be able to find um, a teleport card with all these bombs that we've got. So we should do that. But basically, there's no point going fast. I was hoping to get a quick run done before the end of the day, but actually what happened was it took forever and, and everyone hates me. No cards here. Might as well go this way. Don't quite know how I succeeded in this room without getting hit. Probably because I could fly over the usual obstacle. Use the candle. This is taking forever. I understand. It's frustrating. Cards. Cards. Card. The moon. Perfect. We will go into the curse room. Because we're not going to be teleporting out of boss room. Blank room. Yeah. Oh, Allergies. <laughs> what? Secret room. Super fucking green. No, do not want. How how not get hit did? I'm so astounded I've lost all capacity for recognizable English speech. Look. We need this candle to be recharged and then to not whiff on it when we do use it. It does block shots, which is not to be sniffed at. I said not. <laughs> it's just hardly, it's not like it's going to knock it. Look how long this thing's taken to die. I have had a damage upgrade. Oh, that was weird. We also have to not be hit by this bastard. Either of these bastards. Yeah, kite over them. Good. Kite it, kite it. Chitin is a armoured substance that's found on the back of many insects. It's spelt chitin, but it's pronounced chitin. Don't ask English. I mean, when Dead Bird pops up and helps out, we've basically solved the room. The room is done. It's just we have to get through it. <laughs> ah, I was going to say, I'm hoping to find the item room soon. Mostly because I want to get out of here. Good, that worked well. We could just sort of move on here, but... I should really look for the shop. It could be... Oh, what are you giving me, game? This is shit. We should look for the shop because it could really give us a... Well, it could give us a damage bonus, basically. And any damage bonus is good for me right now. I will take it. Shit me. Where is this bastard? There he is. I mean, my tears are not doing anything to this. These things usually take a while to kill when you're sort of strong enough to be at this point in the game. And honestly... I'm pretty impressed with my performance right now, if I do say so myself. Because I should be shit in the bed right now. And to get hit occasionally, as we are, it's pretty impressive, uh, pretty impressive display. Although, Blue Candle is basically doing all my damage for me right now. Oh, there's still one left, is there? Alrighty then. I don't like to move around too much when there's these things popping up, because you could always walk into their shop. Or just them. Excellent. Keep away from me. I have no time for your shenanigans. Your chicanery. Try and, uh, try and control this room. I don't know if we've got... We have. I don't know if we've got enough damage to beat that. But I'm wondering if I always just take three shots. Oh. 
like a maximum of three shots. Um. Okay. Yes, we've done it. We have found the shop, I hope. If not the shop, something better. Uh, now I wish we didn't get rid of Guppy's head. We might as well keep it. There's a small chance that we become Guppy. And therefore a small chance that that's actually a useful thing to have picked up. There's also a small chance for a black heart. Oh, it paid off. Maybe a second small chance for a black heart. No. Still, pleased to have it. The mom fight's going to be pretty difficult to not get hit on with all the bullshit that happens there. We've got plenty of bombs. I say plenty of bombs. We have some bombs. We should definitely try and find some spirit hearts where we're likely to find spirit hearts. Oh god, red mom as well. It's going to be even worse if we don't even have an orbital. Try and... Yeah, do that. Excellent. Stump. Basically, we're hoping to either get mom to stand in the fire we've already placed, or to get hit by a fire that we're firing, which is not going to happen too well because, first of all, the fire doesn't happen that often because you have to wait for it to recharge. Ah, you fucker! It's fine. Uh, <laughs> we also have to avoid it when it sticks out and um, shoots us. So what we want to be doing here is trying to time it right, basically. Oh, you got hit, you fucking twat. Wait, what? Why did our first hit take a full heart? Why are we taking full hearts of damage right now? Does mum's foot really give full heart? Ah, oh, it's a champion mum. Of course, champion enemies always do full heart damage. That must be true of mum as well. Well, we obviously didn't get a deal with the devil because we wouldn't get a deal with the devil. Might as well take the Polaroid for what it's worth. Maybe we can get an item on the chest if we make it that damn far. Let's go this way. Yusro doesn't fill me with confidence, that's for sure. Secret room. Always. The frequency with which the secret room is next to the start of the utero and womb floors is notable. Please. Oh, why is the magician the item that we got? <laughs> it's not very good. We haven't found anything to upgrade ourselves in any way since experimental treatment. Fucked anything, everything up. We picked up meat. Which is a small damage upgrade, like 0.3 of a damage upgrade, which in Isaac terms is like half the health of a dip, which is the small poops, I think. It's on that magnitude anyway, it doesn't really help. I mean, if it was going to help, we would be better at beating the dips, right? Okay. I'll well take that. This is a room where you just wait for the candle and fire it. I mean, we can't reliably bank any shots into here. Please. Oh, okay. It wasn't intentionally a bounce shot, but I guess I'll take it. This... Just be prepared for this to last another 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm only half joking, to be honest. We really want to find a teleport card, which can get us out of that curse room without taking any damage. If possible. I'm also going to chicken shit this one and shoot them from <laughs> from atop the uh, the rocks here because it's basically the only way I can guarantee myself to get out of here with any measure of safety. Is there not another one of those jumpy up and down things? Those little sphincters that stick out the floor? Apparently not. I'm okay with there not being one. Good. I mean... <sighs> just have to beat the boss. Without getting hit. Fuck! <laughs> We're okay. He, he laughs nervously. <laughs> it's fine. Balls of steel. Range down. Same thing. I've used a magician card. For basically zero value to myself. No, no, no. I don't want you to slow me down at all. It's really not in my uh, not in my plans for today being slowed down. We're doing okay here. Very strong chance we get hit by these sides though. There we go. They're just too difficult to dodge when you're this shit at everything. <laughs> Especially these ones. If we didn't get hit by those ones, we're guaranteed to get hit by these ones. 
Because they won't fuck off and leave me alone. Now I mean. We've, we've beaten the fight. That's basically all I could have hoped for. Dead bird, you do it. <laughs> I don't want a cube of meat. Well, it gives us some offensive power. But we've not qualified for a deal with the devil or angels since we picked up experimental treatment. Which is still basically the main reason that everything's gone to shit for us right here. We could have gone into there if we wanted to, apparently, but it didn't give us anything. No tinted drops, though. No fucking tinted drops. I'm honestly surprised that I'm doing so well. By which I mean not dead. Um, by rights, I should have taken so much damage on all of these floors because that's how they roll. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to go down to the horror Babylon? <laughs> no, no, neither do I. What have you got for me? A bomb. So any upgrade you can give me that I care for. I mean, we. I guess we just play these until something happens, right? Hearts? You could give the hearts to the machine. Fucking IV bag straight away. This has no value to me. Like, except maybe in terms of a couple of plays on this. Give me some money. I can put the money back in the person and... Like what? <laughs> Have you got anything in there that I actually can deal with? I suspect no. I don't even think this thing can pay out with something I care about. Let's just leave. Uh, the candle is the only thing we've got that's going to do any damage for us. Well, those do pretty good damage. I mean, that was a, a very nice situation. Look, get this guy over here. There we go. Those doppelganger rooms always catch me off guard. Because they're shooting at you as soon as you arrive. So unless you've realised that you're in that room, you've basically already lost. I'm glad there's no um, masks on this particular room. That would be a bit shit. Okay. Just consumables. I can't imagine any way of getting an upgrade except to, um, to find a golden chest with some something in it, but I mean, we've already picked up Guppy's head. We've already picked up Steven. The next one up is sort of Cricket's head or something like that, but you know, we haven't found any chests. We've got, we must have a really bad luck stat. We're not, we're not getting any stronger. We're not finding chests, we're finding coins. Even the curse room didn't have a chest in it, it just had more fucking coins in it. That was a very good throw. Um, at least I'm getting some acumen with this um, candle, because I'm normally terrible at hitting things with it. <sighs> Careful there. Let's see if there's um Yeah. Mind the The only thing that we've kept all this time is scatterbombs. Probably not my favourite. <sighs> I mean, why am I saving bombs, I guess? Some part of me feels like the bombs are going to be important in the future, so instead of bombing my way through there, I just walk around. We're on 35 minutes Utero 2. If we can manage to beat Mom's Heart, or It Lives, without taking damage, we might be able to get ourselves a deal with the Devil, which could give us a small amount of damage, or a large amount of damage. If it's something like Brimstone, if it's Death touch. If it's any of this shit, I'm in. I'm not expecting a deal with the angel at all now, but I'm also not expecting if we did get one for it to have any benefit to us whatsoever. And how the hell did that thing completely fail to be hit by my uh, candle? Can we just re redress this particular oversight? Could be using Cuban meat. I have been getting some some sort of acumen with Cuban meat as well. But it's not going to carry us. <laughs> I'm not good at it yet. I'm not that good. Can we kill that thing? Please let me kill that thing. Not if I can't hit it. God, I can't hit it. Please. Good. How did we win that room? Every single time I don't get hit on a room, I'm like, this is not possible. This is a joke, right? This is a prank. It's a wind-up. Why... Are you not giving me tinted rocks? 
You absolute jeb end. Game. I need your help. Not your trolling, mocking laughter. Assist me. Fuck. Allow me the dignity <laughs> of having any benefit from this run that you have summarily thrown away for me in what is usually uh, a decent gamble. Because even if you get a bad roll from experimental treatment, at least you can get spun later by fighting, you know, pride and getting, uh, lust rather, and getting the, 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 am I here? The virus and, and just any syringe drop from, <laughs> oh, okay. basically what's happening. What is in here though? I mean, it's not better, but at least it gives us a black heart, which gives us a small aubergine, a small amount of chance to get through the mom's heart fight, the it lives fight, without taking damage, which is the goal here. And the reason that's the goal is that if we do that, we basically have, I believe we have a 100% chance of getting to deal with the devil, provided that we qualify for it. I mean, there's still a chance if you get hit. If we take red heart damage, there's still a chance. It's just lower. If we get hit on the boss, that chance is basically down to zero. It's not literally zero. It's just extremely poor. You can't just pop up and shoot at me. That's a dick move. Did, you not, did your mum not teach about dick moves? I guess she wouldn't. I mean, she probably wouldn't teach a kid to swear. But still. Did you not listen to Will Wheaton? With his don't be a dick mantra? It goes like this. Don't be a dick. Man, you're being a dick though. Our flight is giving us enough manoeuvrability to get far enough away from these assholes so we can just about not get hit by their shots. Which are going slowly enough that we can avoid them. Got him. Did he die? Maybe. I mean, even the, um, yeah, even the candle is, is just too slow. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, shit. Ah! I was thinking, these things always hit me because I'm such a dick. Give me some fucking spirit hearts right now. Justice. Close. <laughs> Dark bone would be just perfect. Nope. That's not what I want. Come on, then. Oh, thank you. More of that. Whipworm probably is not going to help us. We really need to keep the cancer trinket. The only thing I'm going to replace that with is... No, not that. Um, the curved horn, because that's a damage upgrade, which we desperately, desperately need. Oh, another one. Please. So hopefully, all the money that we put into this will go into... Not dying. But ideally not taking red heart damage at all. Uh, not taking red heart damage at all, if we can manage it. On this. Well, that was a good start. Well done. Shows how good I am at this game. That I didn't take any damage already. That would be uh, very silly to have done so. Trying to land these shots. I mean... This is also kind of bullshit. Well, there's our second spirit heart gone, so all we need to do is not get hit at all for the rest of this fight. That's easy, right? What are we talking about? How can it not be? Just wait for that thing to die to Mom's heart's own shots. Will happen. There we go. Let me bring this in here. Keep doing this. It's our only, uh, only recourse at this moment. At this point, we took red heart damage, friends, and it stopped when I expected it not to. Why is our uh, candle not candling? Recharge faster. Come on now. I don't even know this thing did stop. Well. <laughs> Squandered it again. No deal with the devil. Not since we lost all... This is... I'm putting it down. This is a train wreck.
I've never seen a run this bad. Not in my own game. I've seen it on the internet. You see horrible things on the internet all the time, and people don't even label them not safe for work. I should probably label this run not safe for work. <laughs> because it is... You know... It's just disgusting. No one wants to see this. Why am I even playing? It's 42 minutes. How am I not dead? It's only because of Blue Candle that we have any hope at all on this run, but I... I don't even know if we can beat Blue Baby, and I mean that sincerely. Because... There's a sudden ramp up in difficulty from Blue Baby to Mom's Heart, and if you haven't, uh, so from Mom's Heart to Blue Baby, and if you haven't, uh, Isaac, I guess. I'm even thinking of Isaac. I'm not even thinking of Blue Baby. I mean, there's a chance we beat Isaac with just the candle helping out. I don't want to get close to these fuckers because they keep throwing bombs at me. Brother Bobby is basically doubling our DPS, which is a preposterous situation to be in. As long as we can get to the chest, we may be in with a chance. Just because we can pick up those extra items. Maybe get anything that will help us in any way. Good. Joker. That's the point. We haven't even been lucky enough to get a Joker card. Two of fucking spades. I hate you. That could have been the saviour of my run. All it needed to do was say Joker on the other side of it. No. Too good for this fucking game. Two of spades. Every, it's a fucking slap in the face. Absolute bullshit. Just get out of here. Hopefully this is not... This is even worse. I mean, at some point you have to fight the room, right? Because if you have to come back this way, you don't want to waste all your bombs a second time. Dodging, I've gone completely silent because oh, she's using Cuban meat against greed. What's the matter with you? It's fine. One hit every now and then, we can cope with. It's constant damage that's gonna be a problem. Right, just get rid of greed. This is gonna be a problem because I took a lot of damage. I'm always bad against greed. You should know this by now. I should have beaten the last room and bombed through this room, but this room also stands much more chance of being bad if we bombed it? Because there's so much more things to explode and hurt us. Whereas the previous room just got out of it. This room, the bomb could be a bad thing. I mean, I'm kind of glad sometimes we don't have Dark Bomb because I picked up so much HP just to stay alive. Damn it. Sure, we'll open this. That Dark Bomb would actually not be able to provide us with a suitable amount of replacement HP because we've only got space for it. Four spirit hearts. What though? This fucking random ass damage pisses me off. And there's a spider that won't die until we've killed daddy fucking long legs, which is also bullshit. Please though, just end this infernal thing. How are you not in that? hitbox of that kind of. This shit is pissing me off. Die already. I want to go to the cursed room, in case you're wondering. It could be the only thing that we have that gives us any value at all. Daddy Long is such a bullshit fight when you're not doing any damage. That has never been so difficult. Right, where's this bastard? Get over here, you twat. I'll fucking... I'll end you. I will nut you so hard. Well, I picked up an eternal heart, which we're about to immediately lose. Well, this was super good for us. It didn't even protect us from taking half a heart of damage. Candle, go! Candle, miss. Blue candle, by the way, is timed. Runs out after a certain amount of time. Red candle runs out after it absorbs a certain amount of damage, or deals a certain amount of damage. Oh, thank God for this. Do you know what? I find these things easier to dodge than greed because they shoot at you. And that is a truth fact. Because they shoot at you, you can predict much more easily where the three shots are going and you can stand in between them. Greed shoots horizontally or vertically or orthogonally. Which makes it, oh shit, how can we be in the Horror Babylon state with this much HP? I mean, I guess at least we've got some damage. <laughs> Oh shit, we have to beat Blue Baby, uh, Isaac, without getting hit at all. 
Or our win streak is on minus three. Look. Our win streak so far is bad. I acknowledge this. But let's be fair. We've had an eyes we've had one We did two lost runs in the same episode, which is minus two. And this absolute train wreck, which is minus three. I will not blame myself for losing this. And I will praise myself with I'm gonna have a cookie. I get myself a cookie if I survive this. Honestly. No! Oh! Thanks, game. That's my cookie. You dick. Why'd you have to be a dick about it, huh? What a train wreck. What an absolute train wreck. Well, I should have shown the seed. Then you could have beaten it. Maybe the seed was at the end there. If it was, why don't you have a go? If it wasn't, well, you saw how hard it was. You don't want to go. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed the challenge, but I did not enjoy the fact that it was that long. <laughs> well, thank you for sticking with me, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.